I'm going to be exploring the lives and the careers of black British champions in cycling. So those cyclists, those athletes who have heritage of African descent or Afro-Caribbean descent, um, exploring, exploring their lives and their careers um, over the last 50 years. So I've selected seven athletes to showcase at my exhibition. And I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be placing those, their histories within a wider sociological context of the, of the cycling boom that's occurred in Britain over the last sort of 20 years, particularly um, with the sort of post-2012 uh, um, boom since the win of, of, of Brad, Bradley Wiggins at the Tour de France. It's called Made in Britain because um, what I've done is I've asked these cyclists to tell us, tell me about their life histories in terms of where they were born. Um, what was their socialisation, um, what got them into the sport, who were their mentors, what, 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 what was their greatest um, achievement, what were the barriers. Um, so if I go back to, to the childhood stories, so, you know, there's some fascinating stories. For example, Russell Williams tells the story of, of going to Herne Hill Velodrome. He saw kids, um, kids you know, you, you know at, um, sort of racing with, um, with mitts. So he, he went home and he cut the fingers off his dad's gloves and went back to just, to just, just to sort of feel more connected to the sport. I think um, it was certainly one of the questions that I asked the cyclists as part of my research as to whether, whether the lack of role models was, was, was impacting upon, um, you know, young black people coming into the sport. And some of them said yes. I mean, if you look at sports like football, um, and if you, you see lots of black footballers and if they seem to be happy then that might attract more sort of young people into the sport but if there isn't any sort of representation in sports like road cycling and track cycling um, um, then it might seem as it, it, it might seem to be a space where, where you that, that, that you cannot access it's exclusive um, whilst with BMX I mean you know, Sinead is from a BMX background, um, Trey White, Kyle White, they do BMX, they've represented Britain. But th the thing about BMX is that it's got a stereotype of, of being an, an urban sport. And whilst road and truck cycling has got this sort of connotation as being more of a purist sport. And, 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 and this is what I was really examining, road and truck cycling, why, the, why, why, why there weren't many black British cyclists in that aspect of the sport. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, if you had more role models, um, I think it would be much more accessible for young black people. So when we watch the Tour de France on television, because that's broadcast you know, on ITV4, and when we watch the Giro d'Italia or the Tour of Spain, we see lots of white European cyclists racing for white European teams. But if you look around the world, if you go to places like the Caribbean, um, it's, 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 it's a big scene there. If you go to countries like Guadeloupe or, Tr or Trinidad and Tobago, there's a massive cycling scene there and you have black champions there. If you go to places like Asia, um, to, um, to Japan, to Malaysia, you're going to get lots of cycling there, um, even in Africa, even in South America. So I think it's that Eurocentric perspective that's imposed upon us mm -hmm. that makes cycling, makes, that, 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 that makes it look like, 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 like cycling is a white sport. Um, and this is, this is what I'm examining through these stories of these black champions. I, I want to sort of place their stories within this sort of, sort of dominant Eurocentric perspective to understand what, what their I experiences were mm -hmm. in the sport and, and why, why, they, why, why we haven't seen black champions being represented at the highest level in the sport.